So now let's look at another way that I can give someone a, a permit so that we finish off the parking management uh, portal here. So we've, we've seen how we were able to purchase a permit through the both the admin side and, and the user side, but we can also set up someone to be valid without actually having to purchase a permit. And for that, we use this parking validation tool. And now the original sort of use for this tool was if we had a, a hotel that wanted to just validate vehicles and they would charge them back the cost of that parking on their hotel bill. But in the meantime, for the uh, enforcement, they just wanted to make sure that those plates were valid in their lot. So you can set this up so that certain admins can have the, the uh, permission to set up in different zones within your organization or within your, your property, those different lots. So it could be on Campus One, uh, we, here we had the hotel, uh, or whether it's just public parking, that person is going to be parking somewhere on your campus and you just want to give them uh, basically a valid virtual permit. So in this case, we're going to go A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 as the plate number, and we're going to say uh, contractor. So that could be another use for it, where you just want to make sure that this person was, it will be on campus, they'll be parking in different areas, and you just want to give them parking that is valid for that time without charging them. So we can set up, so today is the, the 26th, and we want them to be parking right up to, the, to Friday, let's say, same time. And we can just click validate, and you'll notice that it'll process a little bit, and it'll start to add. So here we have uh, uh, that validation in here and it explains the start time and the end time. So this just creates a virtual validation for a user. Now the other use for this at one time was in a daycare center so we added some a little bit further uh, functionality to it where you're able to say let's say if you're dropping off and picking up children at the daycare we can set a, a time frame of two hours in the morning and let's say two hours in the afternoon to, to pick up or if it's a lunch time etc and we can say that that happens Monday Wednesdays and Thursdays so you can be very specific with it uh, and and then you could set up something that would be for multiple months if they were you know doing a semester or something like that and you can set your time frame for that and again do validate and now it's going to create individual validation records for each one of those time frames so it's going to take a little time here to, to put them in and then you will see the records appear below So 58 records have been added. So you can see how you, it's quite a powerful tool to be able to set up uh, validations in the future and throughout. And you'll get a report here of those. Now you're also able to, uh, to run reports on those uh, items. And so you're able to expand out and see for, for example, this person has 75 validations and we can search those up and see all of them in this report. So it is possible to see the time frames that people have parked there and possibly charge back if you wish to do so. So that's just another way of getting somebody valid in the system with a virtual permit.